I just wanted to do one quick video on some of the differences between the Subaru Outback and the Subaru Forester. That's one of the main questions I get from customers actually when they're looking at new Subarus is what's the difference between a Forester and an Outback? And the main difference is going to be the size and how it drives of course. So the Outback is the larger car overall. I think it's somewhere around six inches longer. It's two inches wider. It's about three inches shorter in overall height. That's my usual quick spiel that I tell people. Um, but also the Forester is going to be um, one mile a gallon better in the city, which is not significant. They get the same highway fuel economy. They both get 32 miles a gallon. Um, and the Outback is going to be a little bit quieter. It's a little heavier car, um, but it's a little bit more streamlined. That's why they get the same fuel economy on the highway. They have the same motor in them as well. Um, there's a 2.5 liter boxer engine that's in them. They both have um, 174 horsepower. But the Forester is available in a turbocharged XT version and the Outback's available in a six cylinder version. So the XT and the six cylinder are gonna be similar in power, just kind of different power band. Um, personally, I like the six cylinder better. It's a little bit quieter and the Outback overall is a little bit quieter as well. Um, but what a lot of it comes down to is what type of car you're used to. If you're used to more of an SUV style car, something that sits upright a little bit more, you'll probably be more familiar with something like the Forester. Um, so if you're out of a Tahoe or you know a Traverse or something tall like that, like a truck maybe, then the Forester is going to be a little bit more familiar but the Outback is going to be a little bit more familiar to like a sedan type seating position. So it really depends on what you're coming out of, what you're looking to get into. Um, the Forester has more cargo volume, but the Outback has more cargo area. So um, basically what that means is the flat surface in the back of the Outback is bigger, but you could stuff more boxes in a Forester, for example. Um, so that's the main difference between the two cars. It's really comes down to personal preference. I'd say if you're looking, if you're on the market for either of them, drive them both. It's worth it's worth the shot. You know, see which one you like the best. Um, the Crosstrex is also a really cool car if you're looking for something a little bit smaller. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about Subarus too, leave comments below. I would love to answer some questions about that. I just figured this would be something that a lot of people have questions about. And uh, yeah, if you do enjoy my videos, please subscribe below. Um, also, click on the bell icon so you get notifications of when I send out new videos. I'm trying to do them daily. And uh, if you have any questions, not even about Subaru brand or anything like that, just anything about the car business, um, even tech stuff I'd love to get into, um, just let me know. And please leave some comments. Thank you very much.